perform the indicated operation. Notice it didn't tell us what form of division we should use here. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. The synthetics, yeah, we can do both. We'll just do both. Um, I'm going to do synthetic last because it's the shortest. Uh, so let's let's set this up. We got four x cubed minus three x squared plus six x plus five. Uh, I am using long division first, not necessarily because synthetic's shorter, but because long division always works. Synthetic division can only be used in certain scenarios, right? So I've got an x minus 1. Now we're really only concerned with this x, of course, and seeing how many x's we need, uh, both exponentially and coefficient-wise. So first thing I see is I've got an x cubed here. So I'm going to have an x. I'm going to need two more x's to multiply to that, to this x to make that x cubed. And I'm also going to need four of them. So I've got 4x squared times x, which would be 4x cubed. And I'll subtract that out. But I've also got the 4x squared times this negative 1. That would be a negative 4x squared. And yes, I did put that beneath the 3x squared, negative 3x squared, because they, those are like terms. And I would have to add that to it, though, okay? Because that's the opposite of that negative. So these cancel out. That gives us a zero here. I've got a negative 3x squared plus 4x squared. That's a 1x squared. And then I can drop this 6x and also the plus 5, just in case I need it. Now, I look and see I've got an x. And here I've got an x squared, so all I need now is just a positive x. x times x is x squared, which I will subtract. And then I've got x times negative 1, which is a negative x. So I'll add that to the 6x. So that gives me a 0 here, which is what we want. I've got 6x plus 1x is 7x, and then I'll drop the 5. Okay, so now I've got this x. How many times is, will it go into 7x? Uh, it's already got an x, so really I'm just looking at it going into it 7 times. So 7 times x is a 7x, which I'll subtract. 7 times negative 1 is a negative 7, which I'll then add. So that leaves me with a remainder of 12, meaning that from this I'm going to add the 12. And then I'll just put it over what we started with, which was the x minus 1. So that's it right there. Now, yes, synthetic division only works in this case because I have an x plus or minus just some number. Okay, If it were x squared or if there was a coefficient for x, it wouldn't work, which is why we don't do synthetic division too often. Uh, it's, it's preferable that we can do it long division ways because it will always work. So, since I've got an x, x minus 1, it's really x minus a, which means the a is 1. That's the number that goes in the box. And then I've got all the coefficients from the dividend. So I've got 4, that was a negative 3, I've got a positive 6, and then a positive 5. Always bring the first coefficient down to 4, uh, down, so that's 4. Then I've got 4 times 1, which is 4. Then I add these two, negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Then I got 1 times 1, which is 1. So I got 6 plus 1 is 7. And then I got 7 times 1, which is 7, and I'll add these two as well. 5 plus 7 is 12. So, from here all we're going to do is, we got the x, but we're going to drop this by 1 degree. So that would be x squared, that's a positive 1. So then it just goes down by order of degree. Plus 1x, plus 7, plus 12, that's the remainder. So that would also be over x minus 1. 
And that's what we had originally 